Hi everybody, my name's Louie and I am absolutely obsessed with car boots and charity shops. I'm known by my friends and family to be called the car boot queen. I'm 48 years old, I've been doing this all my life. I've got three kids who are sick to death of me going around charity shops and car boots and I've got a husband who's even more sick to death of me. Um, he's fed up of all the which I'm accumulating at home. I specialise in really cute things, vintage things, girly things, homely things from candles to mugs, bone china, makeup. I'm in particularly obsessed with discontinued perfumes, makeup products. Right, let's get to it. Let me show you what I bought from today's car boot at Bolton Macron Stadium. <laughs> I am obsessed with mugs. I've got a kitchen cupboard full of them. My husband goes mental, but I don't care. Here is this fantastic mug that I got today. 50 pence and it says on the front, old enough to remember analogue. Yes, I am. I'm 48 years old and I remember analogue TVs. A lot of you young'uns will have no idea what that is about, but it's a fabulous little porcelain mug, 50p. Next up is this. Now I thought I had bought something really vintage and retro, but no. Even I make mistakes at the car boot. I paid two pounds for this and I thought it was from the 1960s, but it's actually a modern twist on a, it's a Tala measuring cup. So I paid two pounds for that. It's very authentic. It's very rusty, as you can see. I like to give the impression that I bake, but I can't. Um, even though I got a grade A in A-level home economics, even though I did set the dishcloth on fire in my practical exam, um, I just love kitchen area and I love collecting things like that. So that was two pounds, not vintage like I thought, but do I care? No, I bloody don't. I am obsessed with makeup. I like expensive makeup, but I don't like to spend a lot on it. And one of the finds I got today was a Benefit Super Curling and Lifting Mascara, a mini one, brand new, never been used, two pounds. I spend a fortune on mascaras, trying to find the perfect mascara, and I bet some of you guys do as well. Did I just use the word guys? How sad is that? Who the hell do I think I am? 48 years old, using the word guys. But I spend a fortune on mascaras, so I can never find the perfect one. They're either too clumpy, too um, watery, so for two pounds, that was a bargain. Next up, is this and that is Benefit Fake Up Concealer. Now I think they've um, replaced this with the Boying, is it? I can't pronounce it, or Boying re uh, Concealer, which retails at £20. Don't think they make this anymore, so this is quite rare. I can't set, resell it on eBay because it's too, um, it's been used too much. Let's have a look, there you go. As you can see, it has a concealer in the front and then it's like clear on the back. I don't know really what that is about, but that was only 20p. So that was an absolute bargain. Next up is a Benefit Tinted Primer. This was £2, never been used. I swear by using a primer on your lashes before a mascara. I think the full size version of that is £20, so bargain, £2. Next up are two MAC lipsticks. They're a bit too deep for me, a bit too dark, but they're great for my daughter because she loves experimenting with makeup. I got a chilli one, chilli lipstick. These were £2 each, never been used. And then this one is called Diva. And my God, is my daughter a diva. So there you go. That's a nice plum dark colour. Never been used. I could get away with selling these on eBay because they haven't been used at all. They've not even been smeared on the back of her hand. But I'm going to let my daughter have them. And those retail at £16 in the likes of Boots and Selfridges. I am obsessed with smellies. My husband hates it, he's nervous that I'm going to set the house on fire, but I that nothing will stop me from burning candles. And this is a Yankee candle, just a miniature one, winter glow, that was only a pound. And I think those retail about eight pounds in the shop. 
Now then, I am an absolute sucker for little knickknacks. I've got a cupboard at home and it's full of miniatures. My husband's cupboard is full of Land Rovers and tractors and matchstick, is it called? Or matchbox, I don't know. Um, miniature cars. Mine, by the way, is full of amazing miniature ornaments and trinkets. And I could not resist this little fella. It's a brass um, little mountain goat and he was a quid. So he's going to take nice pride and joy on my miniature cabinet. Next up is this beautiful mug. I am a huge fan of pretty mugs. I collect them. I've got too many in the cupboard, but I don't care. And this is either, I think it's a rabbit or is it a hare? And it's by John Lewis and that was a pound. So he's going to take pride and place in my kitchen cupboard. Another smelly that I got today is this fabulous rhubarb and elder flower candle a pound never heard of the brand before smells divine smells like gran grandma's cooking quid next is a hype little drawstring bag for my 12 year old son that was a pound these retail for around 12 pounds on jd sports great little bag to chuck his smelly trainers in next up i cannot re resist a bloody good perfume. I'm obsessed with perfumes. I've got more perfumes than you can shake a shitty stick at. And this is by the fabulous brand Shea and Blue. She wanted £20 for this, did the woman, but I got her down to... Hey! Bless you, that's my Sorry. daughter who sat beside me, Sorry. helping me film the video. I got her down to £16. It's brand new. It's never been used. And it is called... I can't pronounce it. I think it's French... Frambois? I'm guessing that's <laughs> French for raspberry. How beautiful is that? The packaging of the Shea and Blue perfumes are absolutely second to none. Um, it doesn't actually smell too fruity. It is very, very lovely perfume. So that was an absolute bargain at £16. I could resell that on eBay if I wanted to. I probably could get around the £40 mark, but I'm not. I'm going to keep that for myself. Next up are some smellies. You can never, ever have too many shampoos, conditioners and shower gels because my kids go through them for fun. They use them like it's water. So for Daisy, my daughter, I got a four of these Lynx shower gels, 50p a pop. And I think these would retail about two pounds in the likes of Superdrug and Boots. I bought loads of Tresemme shampoos and conditioners, bumper size bottles, 700 ml for £1.50. I got two, three, four, how many more have I got, Daisy? Five, five at 700 ml, they were £1.50 each, and then I got six. Oh, 500 mil ones and they were only a pound each so these retail around five or six pounds in your supermarkets and i think those are around four pounds so again a bargain and i don't care if they use a bottle every time they use a shower at that rate i do actually but um it's affordable that you can afford to bloody wash it down the drain next up is a Liz Earl face cream. I'm obsessed, as you probably know by now, with um, premium skincare products. Now, this was 50p. It has been used, so I do run the risk of getting um, impetigo. I might end up with some scabs on my face. Obviously, I cannot resell it, but at 50 pence, you cannot grumble. This is now £25 in the shops. This is the older version. I know they do a more modern version um, in a tube, but I'm really not bothered. 50p Liz Earl, Earl, I mean, Liz Earl, um, for dry, sensitive skin. 50p. Keeping up with my cuteness obsession, I could not resist. How cute is this little felt sheet? It's like a little ball of fluff. It's like a giant ball of cotton wool. Too cute for words. Cute, 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 cute. I'm obsessed with it. He's no eyes, which makes him even cuter. £2.50. I just love a little ornament to put in the fireplace. Next up is these. I, I think they're
but my little 12 year old boy will love these 50 p a pack i've got four of them and that will keep him entertained for an afternoon and keep him off my case i'm always buying things for other people bought this for my daughter a usa pro got it back to front a usa pro sports bra size 12 three quid should be 13 pounds brand new with a tag can't go wrong with that and then for that little boy of mine again he just dresses in sports gear from day to night he loves a little bum bag and that is a nike um bum bag virtually like new that was four quid moving on to some more homeware stuff and i got this mega chunky solid wood dish fruit bowl whatever you call it i am obsessed with junk collectors but I think that is absolutely stunning. Five pounds. Have you heard that? That's a belter, is that? I also collect tins. I love a vintage retro tin. And I could not resist this one because it's um it's in homage to my name. It's a Lulu tin. Look, it says Lulu. I think this is like an old biscuit brand. I love food, don't you? And that was a pound from Car Boot today. A quid. I love my vintage stuff. You're going to love this. This is a trike. Just look at this. Vintage trike. It's a Danish brand. It's by a brand called, I think you say, Winther. Or is it Winter? I'm not sure. As you can see, it's got a Viking on the front. Now, I paid £10 for this and I've been doing some Googling on them. And second hand, this vintage one is around a hundred, well over a hundred pounds. If it had the little trailer on the back, I could get a hundred and fifty pounds for that. Brand new, the modern versions are around ninety pounds, but the vintage ones are well in excess of a hundred. Am I going to sell it? I really don't know because I think I would love one day to see my grandkids tottling or what's the word? Trundling, trundling up and down in one of these so i'm going to keep that no way no way am i going to sell that and then i also bought off the same lady this fabulous children's chair they do not make them like this anymore and just look at those fabulous primary colors a lot of people might want to um what's the word upcycle this i don't i love those bright primary colors i'm not going to touch it i'm just going to keep it the way it is they do not make chairs like this anymore. And that was a tenner. Now then, I couldn't resist these. Right, my husband will go bloody mental. He's not seen these. I swear to God, he's going to go mental when he sees them. But I couldn't resist them. I've got a set of three of these stags heads for the wall. They're like wooden. I've got three of them. Yeah. They, the woman said, they were she paid 30 pounds each for them and i've got a set of three and she let me have them for 40 pounds she wanted 50 i got her down to 40. i love things like this in a set i always believe things on a wall should go in a set of three so look at them there's a moose 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 in the house right 40 pounds do you like them how fabulous are those next up Every time I go to the car boot, I've always got to treat uh, my mum to something as well. And my mum is absolutely obsessed with Kipling bags. And this is in excellent condition. This was £10. It's a nice, like, camel-coloured bag. And it has the monkey, of course. I would never buy a Kipling bag if it doesn't have the monkey attached to it. And these retail around £80. I remember... Um, around 20 years ago these were about 50 pounds but they've really shot up in price so yeah that was an absolute bargain at 10 pounds i am obsessed with anything with hearts on them i'm obsessed with hearts stars and angel wings and i could not resist this brand new bath mat with my two of my favorite colors blush and gray and that was four pounds and it's washable as well so i can just chuck it in the wash once the kids have flooded the bathroom. My tip of the day is, always remember that saying, if you snooze, you lose. 
if you see something at the car boot which you absolutely love and you you start umming and ahhing about it and you walk away you think you'll go back to it believe me when you go back it won't be there and there's nothing more disheartening and sickening to go back to a stall and the thing that you really wanted wasn't there don't bar don't barter too hard either if if someone wants five pounds for it and you offer them four and they say no and then you say oh well 450 you're wasting time you might as well be on to getting your next bargain don't be so bloody tight hope you've enjoyed watching me i will be coming to you soon with another car boots haul thank you for watching everyone bye bye <laughs>